11 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations on the advent of the new year 2016 with leaders of the Arab Islamic and friendly countries. His Majesty the King wished them abundant good health, happiness and further progress and prosperity to their countries and a happy return of the occasion. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the French Minister of Defense Jean-Yves Le Dorian. The French Minister conveyed greetings and best wishes of abundant health of the French President Francois Hollande to His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King conveyed his greetings to the French President and his best wishes of further progress and prosperity to France through the French Minister. His Majesty the King congratulated the French Minister on the advent of the new year 2016. Both sides reviewed the historic bilateral relations between the two countries. His Majesty hailed the remarkable cooperation and coordination between the two countries in various fields and in particular the military field. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's society openness and religious coexistence. He also expressed Bahrain's keenness to enhance its relations with France in order to achieve aims and aspirations of the two countries' people. His Majesty hailed France's remarkable role in maintaining global peace and security. Both sides discussed the latest regional and international developments. As His Majesty noted, France's significant efforts in combating terrorism and maintaining the region's security and stability. For his part, the French Defense Minister hailed the consolidated ties between the two countries and underlined the kingdom's role led by His Majesty the King in combating regional security and stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace Colonel Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Kaabi, in which he presented to His Majesty the King a book titled Birds of Safriya Palace. His Majesty the King expressed his thanks to the Colonel, noting his efforts in preparing the book, which sheds lights on the various types of birds in the kingdom. His Majesty hailed the launching of the Hubara Birds Project in the kingdom and wished the Colonel further success. For his part, Colonel Abdullah bin Ahmed al Kabi expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his remarkable support in publishing the book. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations on the advent of the new year 2016 with leaders of the Arab, Islamic, and friendly countries. His Royal Highness wished them abundant good health, happiness and further progress and prosperity to their countries and a happy return on the occasion. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations on the advent of the new year 2016 with leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries. His Royal Highness wished them abundant good health, happiness and further progress and prosperity to their countries and a happy return of the occasion. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received at the General Command Headquarters today the number of officers who freshly graduated from military colleges and universities to perform the legal oath, led by the son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Lieutenant Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf Al Jalahma. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed congratulated the officers on their graduation and thanked them for their efforts they've exerted during their study years, encouraging them to perform their national role with the dedication under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He commended the accomplishment of His Highness Lieutenant Sheikh Isa bin Salman in graduating from the Britannia Royal Navy School with merit and the College Commander's Award. 
He urged the graduates to make use of the knowledge and science they have learned to develop their skills in the field alongside the BDF affiliates. He also directed them to continue to seek knowledge and education from the various training programs the BDF offers and contributes in the development and modernization of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The BDF Commander-in-Chief confirmed that the BDF works on providing the most advanced military training and modern combat systems, in addition to creating the best administrative abilities to set the best programs and training plans for its affiliates. He also said the BDF works on developing its forces and units to empower them to perform their military duties in the service of the Bahraini society and in contribution to the development process of the kingdom. He wished all BDF affiliates success in performing their national noble duty and bearing their responsibilities.